After Effects is a super powerful video editing tool for creating motion graphics and all sorts of visual effects, like this cat meme. Meow! By the end of this video, you're not only going to become more familiar with After Effects, you're going to become an After Effects master. I'm super excited, I know you are too. Alright, let's go! Here is After Effects. If you have not seen this software before, don't be afraid because we're going to be breaking this down. Let's go. So first thing you want to do is make a composition. Hit this button right here. You can't miss it. Next thing that you're going to see is all these options pull up. This is going to be where you can set your composition settings. I like to keep it 1920 by 1080. That's right, full HD and also 24 frames per second. Down over here, we're going to set the time. Let's just make this five seconds because, hey, we don't need to spend too much time on this anyways. Bam, hit OK. Next thing that you're going to want to do is type in some text which you can do by going all the way up here and clicking on this T icon. Nice. Next thing, click inside the composition and type in whatever text you want. I think this looks pretty cool. And I'm also going to go down here into the corner and turn on action safe so I can see exactly where the center is in my composition. If you want to reposition this text, you can just click and drag it around. That looks pretty centered up for me. If we want to get some more text options or change the font or anything like that, we can do so by going up here to window character. And then over here, you're going to get this pop-up where you can change the font, change the font size, and pretty much style up this font however you like. Next thing that we're going to do is make sure that we have that layer selected and then press S on our keyboard, which is going to pull up the scale properties. I want to click on this stopwatch icon, which is going to create this brand new diamond and turn on keyframing. Never heard of keyframes. Pretty much just a little point that says be exactly this size at this time. I want to drag this keyframe all the way to the end here so we can start making a really dope animation. Next thing I'm going to do is change my scale from something like 100% something super huge like 5,000% if we want this to look a little bit more professional We can add in some motion blur by clicking on this icon Which looks like two circles smashing each other if you don't see this option down here You can go ahead and click on this toggle modes and switches option and then make sure that this little checkbox is checked on Press space bar on your keyboard and bam you just got a hundred on your after effects exam now for some bonus points Select both keyframes by clicking and dragging in the timeline and then right click on them and go to keyframe assistant go over to easy ease and what that's gonna do is just make those keyframes a little bit smoother these diamond icons turn into hourglass icons which is just the representation for them being smoother animations. Gabe what's up he's saying that we only got a few minutes left <laughs> okay cool so you got that animation looking nice time to impress your client so let's go ahead and import some footage we can do that by just dragging and dropping it right here into the timeline whoa where did our text go it's still there it's just right below our footage layer so let's click and drag this footage layer below the text layer bam we can see our text again. Now, I want this to look super fancy, so I'm going to change this track mat from none to alpha mat, and that's looking pretty cool. Let's also add in a background. So I'm going to right click inside of the timeline, and then I'm going to go over to create new solid, press OK, and then we're going to right click on that layer we just created and go all the way up to effects, generate, and gradient ramp. You can pick whatever colors you like, but I'm going to pick something dim so that that text pops out. And hey, I like Spider Man, so why not go with a little bit of blue and red? That's looking sick, but we can make this pop even more and if you got a client I'm sure they're gonna love the pop so let's go ahead and create a brand new adjustment layer which is just a layer that affects all the layers below it you can do that by right clicking in the timeline going over to create new and then clicking on adjustment layer next we got to add some effects to this adjustment layer so right click on it go all the way over to effect stylize and then glow you can play around with the glow radius intensity and threshold until you get something that looks super sick like this okay cool so now you got a 100 on your after Effects exam, you got the bonus points, and you probably already picked up a client, but guess what we can do? We can push this another level, another step forward. We're gonna make a whole layered video. Press U on your keyboard twice while you have that text layer selected. That's gonna pull up all the different animation properties. Now we wanna scrub forward in our timeline, press that little stopwatch icon right next to source text, and bam, see, that is a square instead of a diamond or an hourglass, and all that means is that that is a whole keyframe. So instead of transitioning between each of them in a smooth manner, it's gonna chop on one after another. Next thing that we want to do is scrub forward a little bit more in the timeline, click on that text layer again, type in some brand new text, and then let's scrub a little bit more forward in the timeline and repeat that same step over and over again until we have enough lyrics out or 
enough words in this trailer or whatever we're making right now. Bam! So let's press spacebar on our keyboard and bam! That looks super dope and nice. We have a done lyric video or a channel trailer or whatever it is that you guys need some text for. Time to render. So rendering is making a video out of this composition. So we want to go all the way up to the composition tab up here and we're going to click on add to render queue. Next thing you want to do is click on this blue text that says lossless and we're going to go over and change it from AVI to QuickTime. Then in format options, I'm going to select Apple ProRes 422LT. Curious what that means. That's just a really dope codec that has a high quality and a low file size. Next thing that you want to do is go ahead and select the output folder and give it a name. So let's go ahead and give this a name and bam, we're done. So you can go ahead, hit render. And while you're at it, why not also hit subscribe and email all your friends that there's a new pro in the building. Hope you enjoy animating and After Effects. And if you want to learn some more techniques, you can check out this other video that we have on the channel where we talk about how to make your hands shoot magic or this video where we make your hand explode. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.